Okay, we're gonna take his hand off. We're gonna try again, reload. Oh, uh-oh. Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. Today, we're back in the Scrap Mechanic first-person world with a brand new weapon. Now, if you are new to Scrap Mechanic first-person, don't worry, I'm gonna be doing a recap of what Scrap Mechanic first-person is, and I'm gonna show you all of the weapons that we have already built up to date, and including this brand new one, which is the Double Barrel Pump Action Shotgun. Now, this is an awesome awesome addition to the scrap mechanic first person armory. It's got the awesome pump action. It even has a shotgun shell ejecting effect when you do the reload pump action. It is loads of fun and I'm excited to check it out. Now, before we check out the pump action shotgun, I'm gonna do a quick recap of what Scrap Mechanic First Person is for any new people that haven't seen it before, just so they can actually understand what is happening here. So this looks really weird, what is right in front of us. Now, this is the Scrap Mechanic First Person rig. This is what everything revolves around. This is probably one of my favorite creations. Now, it looks, it looks really, really strange, but that's because there is actually a whole bunch of invisible parts and pieces that put this whole thing together and the way it really works is at the end there up at the top you see this floating block that is the seat for the first person mode so all you got to do is hop into the seat and there you go you now become this vehicle and the vehicle articulates to your mouse movement you can actually see as we turn around, the whole thing swings around with us. And when we move and use W, A, S, and D, we can strafe left and right and move forwards and backwards. Now, it makes a little more sense when you go into the third person, it actually gives you a little bit more clarity on what is going on here. But you can see the entire rig responds uh, pretty well when you move around with your mouse. And it is extremely effective at kind of conveying a first person effect in the game, uh, aside from the actual first person when you're in your character mode. These are all of the weapons that I have built to date for the Scrap Mechanic first person rig. Now, if you guys have missed any of these, there are videos on all of these weapons. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the playlist of all the videos showcasing each weapon. There's loads of awesome destruction, uh, but let me quickly go through them just so you guys have an idea of what we've gone through and what we've come to now. Uh, so here on the left, you can see I have a pistol with a little flashlight attachment, and then there is the M16. This is a weapon with single fire as well as three round burst, really cool. Uh, and then next Next we have the semi-automatic grenade launcher. This thing is a crazy grenade launcher. The thing spins around uh, and it launches like an endless stream of grenades. Really awesome stuff. And then here we have some of my favorite looking weapons. These are the sniper rifles. The top one is a silent sniper rifle and the bottom one here is the stronger 50 cal which actually has a tank cannon on it so it's kind of like an explosive round. And then we have here another one. This one is actually the most fun to use. This is the RPG rocket launcher. Uh, it's really fun to use and shoot down helicopters with. Uh, and then we had a quirky one. This is the chainsaw. Uh, you can chop trees down. You can also chop zombies if you want to. And then we have another favorite of mine. This is the minigun. It shoots a barrage of spuds and also unloads an infinite amount of empty casings. It looks really cool. I'm going to show you a quick example of that one, actually. And then we have where we are now, the double barrel pump action shotgun. So if you guys are enjoying the Scrap Mechanic first person series, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you have any suggestions for future weapons in the series, then let me know down in the comments. I feel like we've got a pretty good arsenal at the moment, uh, but I'm sure you guys can think of other cool things as well. Now, before we check out the pump action shotgun, I just, I had to pick up this minigun. I love this minigun so much. You guys have to see it if you haven't already seen the video on it. This thing is absolutely incredible. So we've got a zombie right there in front of us. We've got the minigun. Here we go, guys. Let's see a little bit of destruction. I'm going to start unloading. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. That zombie did not last a single second. And look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness. We have just a mountain of ejected casings. This is probably my favorite one. Now make sure you guys do yourselves a favor. If you haven't already seen them, go and check out the rest of these weapons. 
Now here is the pump action shotgun. This is what it looks like when it is not attached to the first person rig. I do have to make some minor adjustments to the back here on the stock just so it actually fits on the rig itself. Uh, but overall, extremely happy with the double barrel shotgun. It looks absolutely fantastic. Really happy with the design. And if we press a button right here, check this out guys. Oh yeah, there we go. There is the pump action. It looks really fantastic and there's something really special about it when it is actually mounted to the rig. All right, now I've hopped into the first person rig. Here is the view of the double barrel shotgun while you're holding it in the first person. And this is what it looks like, guys, when you actually use the pump action, we get that shotgun shell ejecting effect. So let's see right now. Oh wait, no, I just shot. Okay, whoops, okay, I just missed those zombies. Let me reload it now. There we go, and look at that, guys. Two shotgun shells eject out of the shotgun. Okay, not really, uh, but you get the same effect. And look at that, now we have two shotgun shells right there on the ground. It is such a cool little feature. So you can just keep on shooting like that and then pumping the shotgun just like so. You see the shells shoot again pump them out again. It just, it looks so cool to see them fall out and it really makes you feel like you're actually reloading a shotgun a little bit. Now the way the uh, shotgun shell casing ejecting effect actually works is there are two part spawners right here on the back of the rig. Now I had to do a few minor adjustments to the spawn points. So when you reload the shotgun, they appear a little bit ahead of the spawner and down just above the shotgun there using some number logic and then you can see back here on the rig there is a red pipe back there and that is just a sensor seeing the red pipe which is what ends up getting spawned from the part spawner. So again, from the first person view here, I'm just going to show you guys one last time and then I have a really awesome zombie run. It's going to be really Quake and Doom-like. It's going to be extremely fun, uh, but just like that, guys, you can shoot it like so, reload the shotgun, and the shells fall out. But now it's time for my favorite part. We are going to take out some zombies. So here we go, guys. Let's do the zombie run. Now I've got three lined up right here. Let's see if we can't blast the shotgun right on the zombie. There we go. Ah, perfect. Drop that one. Okay, I, I didn't get a headshot. I actually, I really want to get a headshot. Now, it's kind of tough to line this up, though. The shotgun is a little strange. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. He's still standing. Let's reload. Oh, I forgot to reload before the other one. Okay, don't forget to reload. There we go. Oh, yeah. We just took that zombie out. Okay, reload again. Okay, only one came out. Okay, if a shotgun shell is in the way, then, then it's not going to spawn it. Uh, but here we go. We got one more zombie. I think if you hit the uh, controller in the middle, all of the limbs on the zombie go limp. So let's see if we can try that right there. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, wow. Here we go, guys. We've got the kind of quake run right here. I got some zombies, but I've got some explosives to kind of ease this up. So here we go. Can we shoot that? Oh, I always forget how huge the explosives are on the big canisters. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get that zombie right there. Okay, that was that was a very rude shot. Reload the shotgun. That was actually a really cool effect there. You saw the shells go flying. Okay, here we go. Look, we've got a zombie here with like a weird growth in his chest. Okay, we cannot have that. Let's get rid of that zombie. Oh, perfect. That guy got disintegrated. All right, look at that. We got another explosive barrel right here. Why not? Oh my god. There's a couple legs there left over. Um, Kind of nice, I guess. Okay, this guy's got one of those explosive barrels in his chest as well. Can we hit that? Okay, we're going to take his hand off. We're going to try again. Reload. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. We got that zombie and then okay. Hold on first person freak out <laughs> Okay, one more right here. Just like so can we get him on the side of the head? Looked kind of painful one more. Okay, and there we go. Let's just knock him over now. Perfect and wait What is this? We better reload for this one guys. What is around the corner here? Oh my goodness, it's a whole army of zombies, but I think we actually have an easy way out. Let's see what happens here. Shotgun that. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. I promised there were zombies here. 
uh, uh, as evident of the, what, three legs that are left? <laughs> Alright, so that was a load of fun, but one thing I want to show you guys as well that I haven't really mentioned is there is a very good feature on the first person rig uh, that can make for some very, very interesting moments. So, uh, the, the FPS rig is a lot of fun to use uh, with your friends if you have like your own little, um, like, PvP map if you guys want to do uh, like 1v1s and stuff. There is even like a target system uh, that if you hit that target, then it disables your vehicle as well. Uh, pretty cool stuff, but another thing that the FPS rig has as a really, really useful feature is the ability to lean left and right like a lot of uh, FPS games have. So if I press uh, one and two. You can actually see, look at that, you can see us leaning from side to side. So I want to try and just kind of take out a zombie here while we lean around the corner. Okay, see? You can actually hide yourself just like this and then lean around the corner and expose yourself. And so this is another one of those things that really adds to the first person effect of this rig here. So let's lean around the edge here and let's see if we can't get him right there. Okay, close. Reload that bad boy. Try again. Oh, and there we go. So that is the double barrel pump action shotgun in scrap mechanic with the first person rig. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoy this build. Uh, this is another one of my favorite ones. I find the ones that create uh, any type of like empty casing and stuff, those are just uh, the coolest. They add the coolest effect to the first person rig. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy it, then make sure you leave a like on the video, guys. And uh, also make sure you uh, tune in for some endless scrap mechanic by subscribing to the channel. Uh, maybe even turning on some notifications if you want to get informed on the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanics. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So, bye for now.